So I watched that video that I just made and I was debating whether or not to even post it and I tried redoing it and seeing if I could say things a little bit better and I just... I just couldn't. Everything kept sucking. So, um, but it occurred to me that I'm probably gonna get comments or messages about, um, sweeping statements that I made about Wicca, specifically, um, from people who of course are gonna disagree with me, and that's, that's fine, like, that's why we're here, um, so we can talk about it. Um, but it occurred to me that the kind of, the things that I were saying might not make sense to you if you don't understand where I'm coming from with Wicca, um, and I made, I think my very first video, or, um, one of the early ones, anyway, with a little bit more of my background, um, and I've said it in in blog posts, and I've written it in my little um, what's it? Who's it? Little profile bar that's on the side of the uh, the YouTube channel um, that I'm really not interested in debates about what constitutes real Wicca, who is a real Wiccan, etc. That's not to say that I don't have opinions, but I don't think that yelling at each other about it over the internet is effective, um, and so it's not something I choose to engage in. And I've found that when we have arguments like that, and I say we generally, I think what we're really arguing about is validity. And there's this idea that if I tell you that what you're doing isn't real Wicca, what you hear, and I'm saying you generally, not you specifically, you, okay, what you hear tends to be what you're doing isn't real spirituality or isn't real religion or isn't really meaningful or it's superficial or whatever. And that's not necessarily what I'm saying. Um, and again, I'm saying I, the general I, not I, the literal I. Um, so I think there's just, people get really defensive and there's a lot of hurt feelings all around and, um, I don't know, I just, I just don't like going there because I don't think it's useful and, um, I think there's this assumption that if we, if we are critical of each other's religious decisions and the way we use religious labels, then by extension we're critical of the person and that isn't necessarily what's going on. I mean, a lot of the time that's what's going on. But that's, uh, anyway, that's why I hesitate to go there. But um, a couple of things that I said in the last video, I was talking about how Wicca isn't about what you believe. I was, I pretty explicitly stated that Wicca is about what you do. It's a set of practices that make you Wiccan. And this isn't something that I'm interested in arguing about because there uh, there isn't a resolution there because my background is probably different than your background and we can fight about it all we want but neither one of us is going to change the other one's mind um, and this isn't me saying that um, your religious choices are invalid or anything like that okay like please please don't understand it that way because my utmost respect to people who are practicing as solitaries and doing their own thing and figuring things out. But, um, sorry, my brain just stopped. Um, in my, okay, I'll give you an example. So there's something that gets tossed around online a lot and I see it in, it's in like every intro to Wicca book printed in the last like 10 years. It'll say something like, you know, Wicca isn't about magic. There are even Wiccans out there who don't practice magic at all. We've all seen that somewhere, whether it's on a YouTube comments box or in, you know, the most recent Wicca 101 book. And I would like to um, very respectfully but firmly disagree with that because um, in, in my Wicca, and in the Wicca that I know, that I was trained to practice, and um, that I have studied, Wiccans work within a magic circle. And the act of casting a circle is a magical act. Therefore, if you are Wiccan, you practice magic. 
that's kind of a very simplified way of putting it. Um, but that's the kind of point I'm trying to make. Casting a circle is a thing that you do that is part of what defines you as Wiccan. Now, I'm not saying that's the only thing by any extension. That's just a small example that I'm using. And that's not to say that Wiccans use circle all the time, or you must use circle for everything, or blah blah blah. I'm just saying that the act of casting a circle is very important in Wicca. Wiccans do it. It is an act of magic, therefore Wiccans practice magic. Okay? So, when I was talking in the last video about orthopraxy, that's the kind of thing I mean. If I sit at home and I believe that all is one and there's a god and a goddess and, um, you know, we're all extensions of nature and, you know, blah blah blah. If I think those things but I don't express them in any way, I'm not Wiccan. Okay? And because it's sort of like... God, I'm just like digging myself deeper into this hole, aren't I? <laughs> okay. So, like being Catholic, for example, you have to be baptized Catholic in order to be a Catholic. Okay, my background is Catholic, this is what I've always been taught. You can't just spontaneously declare yourself to be Catholic and not do anything about it and be a Catholic. The Church won't recognize you. Um, I can't just declare myself to be a Freemason and be a Freemason. It doesn't matter how many books I read about Freemasonry or how much I know about Freemasonry. If I have not gone through whatever ceremonies are required to be a Freemason, I'm not a Freemason. If I'm not baptized Catholic, and if I don't receive communion and participate in Mass, I'm not a Catholic. It doesn't matter what I believe. So that's what I'm trying to say about Wicca. I can believe in a god and a goddess all I want, and I can believe in nature spirits and magic and whatever all I want. But if I don't do X, Y, and Z, and X, Y, and Z are going to differ from tradition to tradition, and I'm not, again, this is one of those things that I'm not interested in debating, but if I don't do X, Y, and Z, then it's not Wicca. That's not to say that it's not important or spiritual or valid or wonderful or whatever, but it's not Wicca. It's also not Freemasonry. You know, it, it's... Like, it's, it's also not Tibetan Buddhism. Like, I can, I can apply whatever, whatever label I want, but that doesn't make it that thing. So, when I say that Wicca is orthopraxic versus orthodoxic, that's what I'm talking about. Um, and again, please don't understand, this isn't me saying that whatever you're doing isn't valid or wonderful or whatever, um, but... Yeah. Anyway, I think that's, that's something that you have to understand about my own understanding of Wicca in order for the last video to make any sense. And, like, I'm really, really not trying to piss anyone off, okay? So, like, please don't send me hateful email. <laughs> but, anyway, that's where I'm coming from. And I think that's where a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, so-called traditionalists are coming from, whether they're BTW or not. Uh, that's, where they're, that's where they're coming from, this idea that Wicca is orthopraxic, and in order to be Wiccan, you do X, Y, and Z. And if you don't do X, Y, and Z, you're not Wiccan. It doesn't mean that you're bad, or that you're not, or that you're not pagan, or that you're not spiritual, or even that you're not a witch. It just means that you're not Wiccan. I'm not a Catholic. You know, I'm not a Freemason, or a Tibetan Buddhist, or a mathematician, or whatever. Um, so, anyway, that's where that's coming from, and... I guess that's all. So thanks for listening to me ramble and um, I will very very happily um, engage in any sort of polite discussion or answer emails or whatever. Um, but like I said this is a really really touchy subject I think for everyone and it's something I try to avoid um, but it seemed necessary in order for the last video to make any sense. So anyway I hope you guys are having a good day.